See Corporation Double Taxation Problem 3. Kale, an individual whose marginal tax rate on ordinary income is 37% and special rate on qualified dividends is 20%, owns 100% of the stock of Lettuce Corporation. This year, Lettuce generates $1 million of taxable income. Lettuce is subject to a 21% corporate tax rate. If Lettuce wants to pay all of its after-tax earnings to Kale as a dividend, calculate the dividend payment. Calculate Kale's tax due on the dividend computed above and her after-tax cash flow from the dividend receipt. Compute the combined corporate and individual tax burden on Lettuce's $1 million of current year income and the effective combined tax rate on this income. So we're just continuing on of our C corporation double taxation. Make sure you looked at the other problems. This one, we're just going to go through, let's just call this three different questions, one, two, and three, and we're going to go in this order. We're just going to go down the line and answer each of these questions in order. As recommended in my problems, if I have multiple questions, always best you go in order. Now, a few things, Kale is an individual and Kale is subject to an ordinary income tax rate of 37%, special dividend rate of 20%. So that's going to be really important. Kale owns all the stock of lettuce, and this year lettuce generates a million dollars of taxable income, like we said earlier, and a 21% tax rate. So the first question, if lettuce wants to pay all of its after-tax earnings to Kale as a dividend, calculate the dividend payment. So what it's asking here is, okay, well, Kale, I'm sorry, lettuce. So lettuce generates $1 million in earnings during the year. $1 million. So if it wants to pay out an after-tax earnings distribution dividend to Kale, you take the earnings of $1 million, right? And to get it after tax, we multiply it by not, not, not the Kale rate, not the 37% or the 20%. We multiply it by lettuces. So I'll put that on top. Lettuces corporate tax rate, which we're told in the problem is 21%. So that's what the key here is to use that percentage. So that's 21%. So 1 million times 21%, that's $210,000. That's not the amount that, um, that's not what the question's asking. It's asking if Les wants to pay all of its after-tax earnings to Kale, calculate the dividend payment. The dividend payment would be the $1 million of earnings minus the taxes we just calculated which are $210,000, and that's going to equal $790,000. So that's the after-tax earnings that I can distribute to Kale, that let us can distribute to Kale. So that's the first question. We just went ahead and answered that. Okay, the next question, number two. Calculate, ta I'm sorry, calculate Kale's tax due on the dividend computed above and her after-tax cash flow from the dividend receipt. So basically, we're doing the exact same thing we just did with lettuce, but now we're bringing that $790,000 down, okay? So first thing I want to know is what's the amount of tax that Kale has to pay? So okay, on the dividend. So Kale, there's two tax rates that Kale is subject to, a 37% ordinary rate and a 20% qualified dividend. So we're going to take the $790,000 of in number one, calculate number one, we're going to multiply that by the qualified dividend rate of 20%. We're going to use the dividend rate of 20%. And that, when we, when we take those percentages, 790,000 times 20%, the tax due, the tax due by Kale, that's the first part of the question, equals $158,000. So this will go on Kale's 1040. So the next question is we take the $790,000 in number one, we subtract away the taxes that Kale has to pay, we just calculated, which is $158,000. And when we subtract $790,000 minus $158,000, we're going to get $632,000. Sorry, $632,000. $632,000 after tax for Kale. Now, this is double taxation. This is the two levels of tax. The first level of tax is the 21% tax rate that Lettuce pays on the $1 million, which brings it down to $790,000. And then Kale pays a rate of 20%. And now 
it goes down to $632,000. Okay? So the tax due by Kale on Form 1040 is $158,000. And the after tax amount that Kale gets after paying that tax on the $790,000 distribution is going to be $632,000. That's what Kale gets after. And that leads us to number three, question three. Again, just going on down in order. Compute the combined corporate and individual tax burden on lettuce's $1 million of current year income and the effective combined tax rate on this income. This is easy. Once you do number one, number two, this is easy. Basically, we just add up the tax amounts, 210 and 158, okay? We just add these two numbers together. So I'm just going to put a number three here next to these two numbers to show you. We just take the 210,000 that lettuce pays. And then we add to that the 158,000 that kale pays. And I showed you number three where I got those numbers from. We add those two numbers together and we get $368,000. So that's going to be the combined corporate individual tax burden on the million dollars. The effective rate, so how do we do effective rate? All you do for effective rate is you then take the 368,000 total taxes we take that 368,000 total taxes and we divide that by the original earnings by the corporation. So we take the formula is total taxes paid by both over the $1 million original, sorry, getting a little excited again, original earnings by the corp. When you calculate that, that's going to equal 36.8%. So let's circle that. That is the answer for the percentage and then the 368,000 total taxes. So now we've gone through everything and this question kind of finalizes our look at double taxation. It shows you the, all the steps to go through to calculate double taxation, where the levels are. You see the first level of tax, the second level of tax, and that's also corresponding to the numbers. Number one corresponds to the first level of tax. Number two corresponds to the second level of tax. So it kind of is fitting in that regard. And look at all these double taxation problems. They'll help you understand this different, this, this uh, topic of double taxation.